Meek Mill post bail for 20 women. Yes, he did. It's always nice to see a celebrity use their platform for meaningful good. And that's exactly what Mill did. And that's what he did, rapper Meek Mill. Check out this headline, Meek Mill posted bail for 20 incarcerated women so they could spend the holidays with family. You better go on head on, you did that. According to an Instagram post by his nonprofit Reform Alliance, the 20 women were incarcerated at Philadelphia's Riverside Correctional Facility. In a statement, Meek Mill said the following. For families impacted by the criminal justice system, the holiday can be extremely challenging time. No one should have to spend the holidays in jail simply because they can't afford bail. You better say that. And no child should be without their parents during this time if we can do something about it. I'm grateful for the opportunity to help these women be with their families and loved ones during this special time of the year. That's coming from Meek Mill a rapper and an activist and he is absolutely right. We definitely need bail reform in the United States of America. Posting bail is really all about whether you are poor or whether you are rich. Because if you are rich, you can post a bail. If you are among the working poor, you cannot. It is indeed, the legal system is rigged too. Uh, We will talk about that later as well. Alonzo. Oh, it, it's fantastic. Another great thing about Meek Mill doing this is rappers and hip hop get such a negative, you know, publicity. Uh, it's such a negative image. So it's great to see someone from the hip hop community, from the rap community, take care of people, generously help people on Christmas, help these women get home to their families. Once again, like you said, this is one of those stories where there, it's fantastic. There, there's no downside to this. And and you know, this happens a lot at Christmas. We hear about celebrities paying off people's layaway or paying, you know, get getting food for people and stuff like this. And and it's a fantastic thing to do. So good on Meek Mill for doing this. This was this was great. Yeah, good on Meek Mill, baby. Oh my God, so good. And it's worth noting that significant increase of female incarceration in recent years. Between 1980 and 2020, the number of incarcerated women increased by more than 475%, rising from a total of 26,326 in 1980 to 152,854,000 in 2020, and this is coming from the Sentencing Project. This is also a reminder to get rid of cash bail. According to a report by the US Commission on Civil Rights, more than 60% of defendants are detained pre-trial because they can't afford to post bail. The collateral consequences of pre-trial detention result in several negative consequences for detainees, including an increased likelihood of being convicted, an increased likelihood of housing insecurity, detrimental effects on employment, and an increased likelihood to engage in criminal conduct in the future. And that's coming from the US Commission on Civil Rights. Once again, so good. I mean, just absolutely magnificent and fantastic on Meek Mill for using his platform to make a positive difference and reuniting these families. Meek, you did that, baby. Yes, you did. Oh, we loving every bit of it.